Hello, good evening, and welcome back to Poem Praise 2. Certainly, um, in our absence, while I was away, peace and blessings upon you. And I told you the next extraordinary African American is Elijah McCoy. Now, he's an inventor during a time period of 1843 to 1929. So, let us see what he invented. Now, when Elijah McCoy's parents escaped from slavery in Kentucky via the Underground Railroad, they did not anticipate having a son whose inventions would affect railroad transportation all over the world. Now born in Ontario, Canada in 1843, McCoy was the third of 12 children. After attending school near his home, he went to Edinburgh, Scotland, where he studied mechanical engineering moving to Detroit to find work. McCoy was forced to take a job as a fireman on the Michigan Central Railroad, where prejudice kept him from being hired as an engineer. In those days, trains and other machinery were stopped every day to be oiled. Recognizing this as a great waste of time and money, McCoy started the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company and developed a device that would lubricate machinery automatically while it was still in operation. In 1872, he received a patent for his steam engine lubricator, the lubricator cup. McCoy kept improving his device and developed variations of it. In time, he received 42 patents for his inventions, which saved millions of dollars. Soon his systems were in use all over the world. Although others tried to copy his work, people continued to demand the original. Mm. I'm going to just let that sink in for a moment. I just want y'all to just let that resonate. And I'll certainly uh, repeat that sentence again for you. Although others tried to copy his work, people continued to demand the original. Now using a phrase that has now become part of the American language, people said they wanted the real McCoy. That's keeping it real, huh? Okay. <laughs> I just had to do that. A little, just have a little joke at the end. Real McCoy keeping it real. All right. So that is our extraordinary African-American here, here on Poem Praise 2. Now, next coming up is going to be Henry Osawa. O-S-S-A-W-A. -S -S Tanner. Now... He's an artist in a time period 1859 to 1937. So I would like for you to stay tuned. And certainly if you're enjoying the extraordinary African Americans uh, that we're doing right now, please subscribe. And I will be speaking with you in just a moment, certainly if it's in thy will. And coming up is Henry Tanner. Until then... Uh, be blessed and thank you. All right.